Hey guys, I'm um, going to do some welding today, so I figured I'd start off and show you the little setup I got going on, and then uh, get to welding. So, uh, that's a motorcycle. Um, that's my little improv welding bench, and I'm storing my metal under there with my Lincoln Electric welder. I'm a mess right now. Uh, grinding and, and polishing wheel that I use uh, quite often. And uh, that's where I've been rebuilding the carburetor recently. Got a fan up there for some ventilation, a couple signs on the wall, nothing crazy, uh, just my tools. And some more of my projects. There's my truck, snowblower because it's Nebraska and it's cold and a foot of snow outside. Um, air compressor over there, probably won't need that today. I'm going to use my uh, little Ryobi 4 inch uh, cutting wheel, grinding wheel, aim, uh, die grinder. Uh, try and make some picture frames and we'll see how that works for us. Um, I always like to start off with a clean chop. Uh, obviously this is not, so I'm going to take a couple minutes, clean this up and get ready to go. My uh, vise. So, uh, other couple other things I'll be using. Obviously, if you're welding, like I'm going to be, get your welding helmet, get your welding gloves. Um, always use your safety gear. You don't want to uh, lose your eyesight or your fingers for, uh, for having a little fun. So always have your safety gear, and uh, I'm going to clean this area up, and uh, I'll show you what my setup is. So I'll see you in a bit. Bye. All right, I'm back. A couple uh, very cold, but uh, relatively clean minutes later. So uh, here we are again. Um, again, like I said, safety is uh, pretty important. It can be whatever you want it to be. If you want to weld without a helmet, I don't care, but it's uh, it's your eyes. Uh, gloves, you're going to wind up with some burns, so I always use that stuff. Um, here's our project. We're going to start off with uh, some three-quarter inch square tubing. Um, use some very specific tools. I got a little protractor and a uh, six-inch ruler and my uh, my square. Uh, the project is going to be making an eight by eight uh, picture frame and a uh, five by five picture frame or uh, actually just slightly under uh, so the picture will actually attach to the back side of the uh, square bar or square tube uh, as you can see it's hollow in there uh, of course got a fire extinguisher down here just in case uh, something does get out of hand but uh, that's going to be okay I'm back again I'm going to try and show you a couple a couple different things I did while, uh, while I stepped away and then um, I'm going to start cutting, or cutting my pieces uh, since we're going to have a beveled corner on the on the sides and welded, uh, I decided I want five inches uh, from the center of each of the sides, uh, which gives me one dimension uh, the outside to the outside of each piece, being uh, five and three quarter inches, and from the inside to the inside of each piece to be four and a quarter inches. Um, so I just took my handy dandy protractor and came over here and uh, here we go, I got you again. Let's see if I can get this in. You know, set it to 45 degrees and marked each angle. And you can see what I did there. Then I measured with my uh, handy dandy six inch ruler. Uh, four and a quarter inches. Marked my next 45 from there four and a quarter inches, and so on and so forth. So far so good. Uh, I'm going to move this in a bit. As you can see, it was vibrating quite a bit. But it's cutting all the way at the end of the into the vise. So I'm going to move this as far in as possible and keep going. So that first piece was just scrap and then uh, this next piece will hopefully be our first usable piece that we get. Sometimes you get these little handles on uh, uh, tools that are removable, I think they get in the way more than anything, so pull that off and try this here. our first 
and I'm going to keep cutting. So that's that. You can see uh, that's our first piece. That looks approximately like our picture. And there's four and a quarter on the inside. Okay, it looks like I got about four minutes of camera left, so I'll try and try and do this quick. Um, I went ahead and laid out my uh, my frame, my, my picture frame, as you can see, with my four bevels now that we had cut previously. Uh, I got these little handy dandy magnets from I think Harbor Freight, a couple bucks a piece. Uh, come in handy. They give you a pretty nice corner. They keep everything square while you're welding, so uh, that'll work uh, work pretty well for us. And of course. You take your square and you go around uh, a couple times. I, I usually go around two times, uh, but you can't overdo it. You, sometimes you just take so much time tweaking it that you, you just need to get down to welding. So uh, I'm going to go find my tripod and see how this works. And uh, as you can see, don't tell anyone about my tripod. Um, but we're going to try and get welding. Uh, here goes. Tight. I'm going to try and zoom in. Uh, okay, now as you can see, I just zoomed in on the, uh, on the corner. And just a little bit so you can see all four corners. And you'll notice I'm going to go around and tack each of the corners. I've got my ground uh, ground clamp. You can't see it real well. There it is. It is uh, clamped to my table. And of course, got my welding helmet on and my gloves. Once so I got all this stuff on, we're gonna gonna get to welding. I'm gonna start up here in this corner. I'm just gonna give it a a quick tap. That wasn't very good, but it's there in a hole. Next corner. Good. I haven't welded in a couple days, and uh, it's kind of cold out here, so we'll try it again. Doesn't have to be real pretty because we're uh, we're going to wind up grinding these smooth anyways. So there goes. Okay, as you can see, I now have everything all tack welded up. Each corner. I'm not too concerned about the gaps right now because I'm just going to fill them in with weld and grind them off. And since I only got a minute left on uh, recording time, I'm going to just show you the finished product here when I'm done. As you can see, this is uh, this is the frame pretty much welded up. I've brought it inside because uh, it's cold outside. So uh, there it is, welded up. And uh, just so you all can see, eventually. That's pretty much what it's going to look like, so. Uh, hold them up next to each other, and you see a little bit of finished work. Clean up the corners, and weld a little washer on top, and uh, paint it. And there we go. That's, uh, that's about it.